Bob the Spider Hunter here. Uh, thanks for joining in with me. Uh, this part two of the video, uh, the little spiders that I've been doing, has been delayed a little bit because I've been away at Ypsilanti, Michigan at a special gathering um, called the American Arachnological Society. And uh, it was a wonderful time. I was way outside of my league, uh, but I had so much fun there with uh, wonderful people uh, from all over the place, all over the world, basically, uh, mostly from the United States. Um, and they gave these wonderful talks uh, about spiders and various aspects of, of a spider and its existence uh, in life. So anyway, I had a lot of fun there. And uh, so you see a little couple of little clips of that uh, early on here, and then um, the rest is going to be part two of taking a look at the smallest spiders uh, that can be um, so fascinating. And these are full-grown spiders you're going to see in this next section, part two. So enjoy the clip, and as usual, have yourself a great day. Take care now. Hi, good morning. Bob the Spider Hunter here, and I'm pretty excited this morning because I'm heading off to Ypsilanti, Michigan, which is about a two hour and 20 minute ride from my home to attend the uh, AAS convention, which meets every year. It's the American Arachnid Society. Um, this is the elite of the elite who gather together to share information about spiders, things that they've learned and, and want to share with the rest of the group. So uh, this is way out of my league, but I am so happy to be able to go there. And uh, hey, I'm gonna head off now so I get there in time. Let's go, heading towards Ann Arbor and Ypsilanti. I'll check back with you a little later. Gonna give my attention to driving. Now, how cool is that? That, I understand, is a water tower, a really old water tower. I've arrived at Eastern Michigan University. And I shot that picture of the water tower in Ypsilanti because look what they put on the front of our manual. Yep, a tarantula climbing on the water tower. Gotta love it.
And after these little uh, jumping spiders, these little zebras come out, the next to come out is the Phytopus otix spiders, and they're little youngsters that come out of their egg nest. But it's a little early for them yet. Uh, I have to let the zebras get uh, going first, and then we'll start to see the Phytopus otix, the little jumping spiders as well. Ah, oop. <laughs> tried to grab that little fly and decided that it wasn't to his liking. <laughs> there he goes. This guy is almost pure white. This may be my first albino spider. Wouldn't that be cool? Just a little itty bitty thing. This would appear to be a little male. Really small. And I don't know if I can even ID this spider at all. What I have here on my thumb is a little black ant. Not. This is actually a spider. They call them ant mimicking spiders. They look and walk just like an ant does. And they're one of the few spiders that will eat an ant. Ants are not enjoyed by many spiders at all because they have a high acidic value in their bodies, which is uh, not tasty to a spider. So these spiders, these uh, ant mimicking spiders, not only do they look like an ant and walk like an ant, but they, they use their two front legs like an ant would. And there's an ant. And there's the ant mimicking spider down in the crack. There he is. And just like that, this ant mimicking spider jumped off my hand on a web down here to the deck and is gone. I rarely see these little ant mimicking spiders because they're so small and they look like ants that I just overlook them if they're around. When I do see one it's really fun to enjoy and take a look at uh, how that uh, little spider maneuvers making itself look just like an ant. And this is what a little juvenile crab spider looks like when it uh, develops a little bit more from being a baby or a spiderling. This happens to be a little male. You can see the little bulbous tip pedipalps. And now you can see how tiny this little crab junior 
is Now, generally, uh, crab spiders are uh, pretty laid back and not in a big rush to get anywhere. They usually wait for their prey to come to them. But when they're younger, they get a lot of energy and out making their, making their rounds. Little guy's like walking through the hairs of my arm like he's in a jungle. Poor little thing. We'll just turn that little guy out here on my flowers, turn him loose there, and I'm sure he'll be right at home. <laughs> well, it is springtime and all these little guys are just popping out all over the place. <laughs> you gotta love it. There you go, buddy. And I think I'm gonna break for lunch. Getting hungry. These guys are probably out for lunch, too. Hey, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. <laughs> Take care now. Hey, Bob the Spider Hunter here. Uh, thanks for joining in with me. Uh, this part two of the video, uh, the little spiders that I've been doing, has been delayed a little bit because I've been away at Ypsilanti, Michigan at a special gathering um, called the American... Yeah, that one. <laughs> called the American Arachnology Society. called the American, called the American, <laughs> oh boy, now I won't be able to stop laughing, <clears throat> called the American Arachnology, Arachnologist, Arachno, Arach, oh brother, <laughs> ooh, Oh, dang. Let's just call it the American Spider Society. <laughs> it takes six. <laughs> <laughs>